And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Ryan Metzler. It's Ryan Metzler here again, and today we're going to take a look at a handmade game. It's a wooden game called Skittles, and it's played on this giant maze kind of like board or many roomed board. Uh, you're going to be spinning a top and trying to knock over wooden pins in order to score points. Uh, quick note for those people watching and uh, aren't interested in luck-based games, this is a predominantly luck-based game, or almost an entirely luck-based game. Very little skill, uh, very little choice, but I do play a variant of the game that gives you a little bit more of a skill curve in the game, which is blowing the tops as they move, trying to get them to move in a direction that they normally wouldn't move in. Uh, so, if it sounds interesting to you, check out the following video. It'll give you a quick overview of the board and how the game plays. Then we'll come back here and we'll get my opinion of Skittles at the end. So here you have a little bit of a behind the scenes look at my table that I record on. And what we're looking at here is a Skittles board. Now this is a game that's pretty much entirely luck if you play it the way they tell you to play it. Uh, but this is a game where there are bowling pins or bowling pin shaped uh, objects here set up inside of this little grid. Uh, and each of these areas has a room where you can play through here. So you'll see there's a door between here and here I can put my finger through, a door here and here, and then there's doors leading out of these three rooms into the general playing area that's divided into this closer area with pins here, a further area with pins out here, and then more doors like those that are at the beginning. But they're in the back and they're clearly further away with pins in each of these rooms back here. Each of these pins you're going to be trying to knock over. So, you don't want to knock over the two in the front area because they're worth negative 10 points. Also, they're the closest to where you're going to start spinning your top that's going to be knocking things over. So, you're going to spin in here, trying to avoid knocking over these two pins that are worth negative 10 points. Once you clear this doorway, which is not as easy as it might sound, you're going to come out here and you're going to score five points for each one of these pins that you knock down. Of course, they're closer to the start, so they're worth more points. The further out you get, you're going to get more points. So these are worth 10 out here. So 10, 5, negative 10, not as good. Once you manage to get through the doors on this side, this pin here is worth 50 points. The one in the middle room is worth 100 because you have more doors to pass through. And of course, the one on the other side matching the one on this side is also worth 50 points. How are you going to knock these over, you ask? Well, you have a top. It looks like this. It's basically a round top and a little dowel that comes out of it. And around this top, you will be wrapping a piece of string. You're going to place the string here and you're going to start wrapping it around, trying to wrap over the length of string, and then you're going to wrap it down around the dowel like this. Kind of do it real fast so you can see how we play the game. So we'll push this up, continue wrapping, and once you've got it all wrapped, like this, you're going to go ahead and you're going to insert the string down in this slot in the board right here. And that's going to give you your top in the area and now you have a pull string to start the top. So, real quick, why don't we give it a whirl and you'll see how the game is played. So, we'll put this here, pull on that, and we have our top moving. So, the top has made it out, and now we're knocking over pins, and that's basically the game. Uh, it wasn't a great pull because I did it left-handed, but you'll see it knocks stuff over, and hopefully you can get the pin down here. So, what we've got here now is we have managed to score, well, one, two, three, four is 20 at five points apiece, minus the 10 that I knocked over for the one in the first room. And if you're playing by the basic rules, that's the entire game. However, I've added a little bit of a spin on it where we blow on the top as it's spinning to try and get it where we want to go. Uh, this adds a little bit more of a variant where you're trying to get a little bit more control over movement. And I found that blowing the top can completely reverse this direction. You can move it wherever you want. And you can much easier maneuver it into these back rooms and get 50 and 100, 150 points, 200, up to 275 points if you knock down all of the pins except for the bad ones. So. If you want to add a little bit of a uh, control element to the game, blow on your tops just <laughs> as the top is spinning around. You can direct it and have a much more uh, interesting and kind of comedic time playing the game than if you play by the basic rules. Anyhow, you're going to play this game trying to set up the pins, knock them down for the most points, until one player either reaches 300, 500, or 1,000 points, whatever set point you start with, and whoever manages to reach that point first will be the winner. Well, there you have it, that is Skittles. And as I said at the beginning, the game is almost entirely luck-based. I mean, you rip that cord on the top, you hope it spins out and knocks over some of the pins, but sometimes you score zero, 
Sometimes you score negative 10, sometimes your top falls over right away, and there's nothing you can do about it. However, the variant I have added where you do kind of uh, use wind power to move that top around, you know, you just kind of exhale on the top, blow on the top a little bit, and hope that it goes where you want it to go. Uh, you can control the direction of that top with some serious wind power. So if you manage to blow hard enough onto that top, it's going to reverse directions. I've seen it happen. And you can kind of guide it into the back rooms and get more points that way, and it makes the game a lot more interesting and a heck of a lot funnier to watch. Uh, I didn't do it in the video because it makes a lot of noise and I look ridiculous, uh, but it is possible. It's a much better variant of the game and one that I suggest to anybody who does decide to pick this up. Anyhow, the game is a blast. Uh, if you're looking for something that's just silly and fun, especially with the added variant that I suggested, I definitely suggest playing it. It's not something you're going to play all the time, but it is something that's great for parties, it's great for younger kids, and it's a whole lot of fun if you just pull it out every once in a while. That's Skittles. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.